You're watching Kabillion On Demand. Okay, Bobby, the show's gonna start now. Did you brush your teeth and, and your hair? Ooh, I don't want to get toothpaste in my hair. Bobby, we have a show to do, and it's important to look your best, and it's also healthy. Howie. See, when people see a nice, bright smile... Howie? It says Howie. something about that person. H Howie! No one will want to be around Howie. you. What, Bobby? You have floss in your teeth. <laughs> uh, uh, start the show. smile, you show your teeth. Naturally, you want them to look healthy. Don't good-looking teeth add a lot to Dorothy's smile? Doesn't Jerry look healthy and happy? Not everyone has such healthy teeth. Look at Sam. Sam has never taken very good care of his teeth. Judy's teeth are not growing in right. She needs dental assistance, too. Bobby? What? Like Bobby? In a short what? Time, Tom's teeth will Bobby? Be That's and my name. <laughs> we should be a good neighbor and, and sit back down it? so others can see. Jackie kissed me. He's my boyfriend. Oh, yes, no. Bobby you know and Jackie hiding in a tree. K I S S I N G. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes Bobby with the baby. Here, here, now, now, well, class. You really hate Barry Marrow. Well, he writes the songs. But I guess learning how to humiliate and tease others is an important part of the educational process. You must brush your teeth every morning and every night. And you must brush them properly. Good night. You think some of that lottery money would go to buy better equipment? Will someone get the lights, please? Oh, well. It's not that I'm a really good helper. I just like to get out of my seat a lot. This pamphlet tells about the importance of regular checkups. How many of you have been to the dentist for a checkup? Uh huh. How many of you haven't been to the dentist? <laughs> Feeling pretty small and alone, huh, Bobby? Bobby, you can put your hand down now. Oh, no. Time for another taunting song. Ew. Bobby, Bobby hasn't been, been to the dentist. Bobby hasn't been to the dentist. <laughs> Bobby hasn't been to the dentist. Now, now, Bobby stop it, class. No need to be embarrassed, Bobby. Here. How to stop desperado decay. The name of my dentist is... Well, knock me over with a wet noodle. That's right. You've never been to the family dentist. Mom, what's the name of my dentist? Dr. Stoop. C. Elliot Stoop. Is dinner ready yet? Kelly! Derek! I'm gonna see Elliot Stoop! I'm gonna make a note right now to call Dr. Stoop first thing in the morning to make an appointment for Bobby. Oh, well, honestly, Martha, the reason I'm staying with you is so you can rest till the baby comes. And while I'm at it, I might as well make the appointment for all you kids. Thanks, T-Brain. What do you want to play after this? 
Uh, how about steal the bacon? <laughs> Great! Bobby! <laughs> what? How many times do I have to tell you, don't play with your food at the dinner table? Yeah, play with it outside like Roger. Oh, Derek. Uh, uh, Dad, what's it like going to the dentist? Bobby, like, relax. It's no big. He, like, cleans your teeth and, like, makes them sparkle. You know, like, kind of like a movie star. It's like your smile would be too cool. Is that what it's like, Dad? Well, it's, it's like... He makes you open your mouth up real wide. And then he gets in there with a pick. And he picks at your teeth looking for cavities. It's the most fun you'll ever have. Not. Oh, nice job, Derek. Not. It's nothing like that, right, Howard? Come on, Howard. <coughs> Howard, Howard, just don't say the wrong thing, okay? You know? Well, it's, uh, Bobby, it's it's like getting a haircut, only uh, in, in your mouth. Ew, I don't even want a picture of that one. <laughs> nice going, Howard. He's just going to look at your teeth to make sure they're healthy, so don't worry. I won't. Worry? What's that? It's Uncle Ted! Of course it is. It's dinner time. Ted, do you want some din, -din? Oh, 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 no, I couldn't eat a thing. Oh, my tooth is killing me. Uh, I think I cracked it eating some popcorn or something. Or uh, maybe it was a taco chips. Oh, my tooth. Maybe it was a peanut brittle. Oh, I don't yeah, know. Honestly, Ted, well, you're dying. Oh, you don't know. worry, sis. I'm going oh. to see the dentist tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be horrible. Old man Stoop sticking his hands in my mouth, poking away. Crunch. Oh, it's going to hurt. Running the drill. It's going to kill me. <laughs> Ow, what are you poking me for? Yeah. What? Bobby's going to the dentist tomorrow for the first time. Oh. Oh! Oh, wowzers! Uh-oh! And I said, oh, the poke thing. Oh, and the drill thing. Oh, no. Oh, and how Dr. Stoop's gonna hurt. Oh, no. Ted? <laughs> oh, gee, Bobbo. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I was joking around. Hey, Bobbo, you know what time it is. Time for noogies. Time for noogies. Hey, <laughs> Bobbo, I was kidding, you know. <laughs> hey, tell you what, I'll go with you to the dentist tomorrow. We'll make it some kind of big adventure. Dad, Zooks, I like adventures. I'm going to have a way better checkup than you. Yeah, like, dream on. No way. Yes way. No way. Yes way. <laughs> The only thing your teeth are good for is talking on the phone. Uh, like, that doesn't even make any sense. You are such a mutant geek. I'm not. I'm too. I'm not. I'm too. I'm not. I'm too. I'm not. Oh, I think I missed a turn. Now you two quiet down right now. Uncle Ted and I can't even hear ourselves think. Huh. Honestly, these kids nowadays, huh? I always wanted to say that. <laughs> Oh, such a lovely smile as yours. How could the dentist improve on those lovely teeth? <laughs> I hope this experience here will not be an unpleasant one. Oh, I won't feel anything. I'm going to have lots of Novocaine. Oh, uh, well, personally, the dentist always gives me gas. Oh, Uncle Tom, you said beans always give you gas. But, <laughs> well, why don't you go read a magazine, Bobbo? Guy, nice going, Bobby. Uncle Ted was trying to talk to that chick. Bobby Generic. Generic? Bobby Generic. A dentist will see you now. That's Generic. Derek? Uncle Ted? Don't one of you want to go in first? Go on, Bobby, unless you're scared. I'm going, I'm going. Bobby, the dentist is waiting. <laughs> Ew, it smells in here. Well, Bobby, this must be your first visit to the dentist. Maybe. Oh, well, the doctor will be here in a moment. So don't worry about a thing. Worry? Starship captains never worry. The 
final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Booby Prize. Our five-year mission to go where Norman has never gone before. Norman, have you ever gone here before? No, Captain Bobby. Good. Then we'll beam down to the surface. Or amalgam, as the dentists say. <gasps> Captain Bobby, like someone is giving me a lot of static. Put it on the view screen. I am Zap, leader of the Static Klingons. <laughs> we are beaming aboard, Captain Bobby. You are our prisoner. Escape is impossible. We have you in a tractor beam. He's right, Captain. We are being held in a tractor beam. On screen. I am Zap. Now will you get watching? You forgot the softener. <laughs> You will tell me what you are doing in this sector. What's for me to find out and you to know? You will answer my question! Now, open your mouth and let Mr. Brush take a look inside. Who are you? I'm Dr. C. Elliot Stoop, but you can call me Plaque Man. Hi, Bobby. I can see healthy teeth and gums. Open wide. Wider, 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 wider. You two sound the same. What, Bobby? You, you two sound the same. Oh, really? Well, I can assure you, he's the puppet, and I'm the dentist. That's right. See that plaque on the wall? That means I'm a real dentist, and not one of those actors on TV. Now, I'm going to put this suction hose in your mouth to suck up your saliva while I check and clean your teeth. Hmm. Been taking care of your teeth? Uh-huh. But... Even when Uncle Ted takes you to the park for ice cream, you should try to brush your teeth. Any questions before I begin? Mm hmm That's a good question. No, I don't know why Jackie kisses you. <clears throat> Everything looks pretty good in here. Now I'm going to scrape a little plaque off your teeth. Huh? There, that's got it. Finished. Here, rinse your mouth. Now spit. In the bowl, please. Sorry. I should have been more explicit in my instructions. That's how accidents happen. Okay. Next time, be more explicit. Well, um, let's see how everyone did. Uh, Kelly, you had no cavities. Oh. Derek, you have two small cavities. You'll have to come back. <laughs> Told ya. I had a better checkup. <laughs> But, Kelly, I'd like to talk to your parents about getting you some braces. What? <laughs> Kelly's gonna have a brace face. Kelly's gonna have a brace face. Oh. I guess no one's safe from mindless teasing and humiliation. And, Uncle Ted, I've repaired your tooth. If you have any problems when the Novocaine wears off, call me. Does it hurt, Uncle Ted? <laughs> he sounds like the guy who takes orders at the Burger Kingdom drive through What did he say? He said, that's a dental association joke. Very funny one, too. <laughs> I don't get it. Wait. He said, I don't feel a thing, Bobby. Now, Bobby, you had a perfect checkup. However, it appears you have a new tooth coming in. And that means you're going to lose a tooth very soon. I'm going to lose a tooth? I want to conquer Earth, and you're on a schedule! The Super Sportlets! Release the energy of Sportus! Let's go, let's go, hey Sport, let's go! Ballistico! Charm! Let's go, Athletica! Let's go, hey Sport, let's Strongo! Go. Watch Super Sportlets only on Kabillion! And now back to our show! Bobby! What? Bobby! What? Oh, Bobby! What's going on? <laughs> Bobby, why are you brushing now? Aunt Ruth, the dentist said to brush after every meal. But you didn't eat. Jackie did. 
Oh, well, the dentist meant that you should brush after every meal you eat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but how's everyone gonna know when I eat? Huh. I wish Dr. Stoop would be more explicit. <laughs> if you find a tooth in the sand, it's mine. The dentist said I was gonna lose one. Oh, Bobby, you're so precious. <laughs> the dentist meant one of your baby teeth was going to fall out. See? And look, I got a dollar. You lost your tooth and found a dollar? No, I got a dollar from the tooth fairy. You put the tooth under your pillow when you go to sleep. Then when you are asleep, the tooth fairy comes, takes the tooth, leaves the dollar. Oh, I get it. It's like when you take back the aluminum cans. Boy, they recycle everything nowadays. Well, I don't understand. They couldn't just get up and walk away. Don't look at me. I didn't do it. Ew, that's gross. What's the matter, Ruthie? Cat got your tongue? No, my teeth. See, Ted and Ruth took out her false teeth last night, and now they're missing. Now, you wouldn't happen to know anything about this, would you, Bobby? Well... Well, well... Did it for the money. <laughs> you know, he gets cuter as he gets older. <laughs> now, Bobbo, it has to be your tooth under the pillow if you expect a tooth fairy to give you money. <laughs> hey, 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 that tooth, that tooth is getting pretty loose there, Bobby. Want me to try and pop it out? No, wait. I know a way. Uh-oh, what happened? His loose tooth. It came out. Won't Dr. Brown, the dentist, be surprised? Whatever gave you the idea to eat an apple? You see? And I bet you thought those movies at school were just a vacation from the regular boringness of schoolwork. Well, I don't think the Tooth Fairy will miss your tooth. And Roger, don't you bite the Tooth Fairy. <sighs> Never mind. Good night, my little pumpkin head. Are you the Tooth Fairy? No, sorry, dude. Mistakes, Bill. I'm like the Sandman. Hey, isn't this Kelly's room? She's such a babe. I got this great dream for her about some guy named George. It's the next room on the, uh, on the right. Yeah, that's it. The right. Thanks, dude. He sent him to Derek's room. <laughs> You're lucky I'm not Santa Claus. I'd have to put you on the naughty list. <laughs> Are you the Tooth Fairy? Yep. I gotta pick up with the generic home. Generic? Oh, whatever. Oh, dead in here. One root. Watch out. Oh, boy. Easy. Now, yeah, let's see what we got here. Um, that's an upper bike cuspid. Uh, yeah, you've been brushing regularly. Uh, that's a bonus. And uh, today's exchange rate, uh, here's a dollar. I'm telling you, time's a rough. I I'm going broke here. What's that? It's my pager. Got another job. I'm a busy fairy, kid. Uh, you're looking at the employee of the week. Uh, Want to see my plaque? Sure. I know a dentist who can get rid of the plaque for you. <laughs> no, thanks. I'm pretty proud of it. Ooh, money! Oh. Now all I need is pockets. Mom! Dad! I wasn't dreaming! Look, the 
took very roughly this money. Sure, the little dweeb goes to sleep and gets money. All I got was a stupid dream about George. Like, no joke? Like, I had this really stupid dream about winning a skateboarding contest. <laughs> The nurse has come to talk about dental health. Well, that was a great show. You know why, Bobby? Why, Howie? Because we did two things today. Not only did we teach everybody about going to the dentist and taking care of their teeth, but we were also entertaining, too. <laughs> and I always say, if I could just make one person smile... Look at Sam. Sam has never taken very good care of his teeth. Except him. Bye. Bye. Now a word from our sponsor. Get ready to go hog wild. Super Sonic Star! Reconstructed by core technology, they were made bigger, stronger, faster, better than ever before. And they will go to the limits to protect the Earth from the Bionic Bulls. No one can beat the Cyborgs. Grab the action! <laughs> Incoming! <laughs> Cyborgs! You've been watching Kabillion On Demand.